the puppy that changed my life forever. You might say he chose me on the trail that day. Was it coincidence or fate? I say it was meant to be. First night in the Prius was a huge success. Right, baby? Yeah. For the past year, I've been following my unconventional dream of solo living out of my Prius to explore the Americas and its natural beauty. And I finally convinced my mom to join me on a portion of my journey. After hours of driving, we reached our destination, a remote hiking experience. Driving down the long dirt road, as we slowed to park, I noticed in my rear view an animal running after my car. As it neared, I realized it was a dog. I opened up my car door and a puppy jumped into my lap. Hey, oh, we going on a hike today, huh? Expecting him to just walk away, we prepped for our hike, but he stayed. We started our hike and again, he stayed. Look who's just hiking with us. For four plus miles, he stayed at our feet, guiding the way. He appeared to be slightly injured. Oh, his legs hurt. And even with a slight limp, he accompanied us, never lagging. And then joined all the way back never letting us leave his sight. I love our little trail buddy today. At the end of the hike, I again extremely emotional urged my mom, we can't leave him here. So we went back down the dirt road looking for anyone, stopping everyone we saw, asking them if they recognized or had knowledge of this dog, as he was so sweet to us. Because we couldn't leave him, we're gonna make sure that he finds his home. And if not, his name is Camper, and I don't care if you have fleas, I'll put my face all over you. Then contacted nearby shelters, vets, and asked our friends who worked with one of the shelters about the area. We immediately brought him to a vet as advised, as we waited to see if he had an owner, chip, or really any sign of ownership in general. He was onboarded as we waited and paid for him to get a total checkup, evaluation, and all of his treatments, as he had some issues. No telling how long he'd been alone out there. He was so hungry and thirsty. I couldn't sleep and I couldn't get him off my mind. And Saturday morning, we picked him up. They said he was about five months old and with his condition, he was definitely a stray. And Camper has been with me attached at the hip ever since. Do we go? Oh, stretch it out. Oh yeah. Good morning, handsome spending 90% of his time outdoors, in the wilderness, hiking all over the country. <laughs> Living his best, happiest life. We're in a hotel, we can't be that great. Right. I love him. I love him so much we and he is it. the best thing that has ever happened to me. Are you a happy boy? And I hope I am that for him too. My best friend and now my little car camper. That's his name, Camper. Well, yeah, we don't know when the last time he ate was. Nope, okay, I'll see you on Saturday, baby. I'll see you. Oh my God, I love him. I'll see okay. you on Saturday. Okay, we got all the puppy essentials and a level. I love him. He's so happy. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I love you. Oh my god, there's so much I love you. <laughs> I know, he, they did, definitely. Happy dog. Camper, are you a happy dog? So smelly. Camper. It's our first night, right? It's our... You're so good. Hey, baby. I love you. Sit. Oh, good boy, good boy. Oh, you're learning so fast. Together, don't we? <laughs> Somebody's tired. Somebody went on a big hike. Oh, hi, are you gonna go for a ride? Yes, you are. Did you get your first bath? Was that your first bath? <laughs> your first bone, what do you think? Oh my God, he loves the antler. Camper, are you so happy? Oh, sleepy boy. Hi, handsome. We've got a happy camp. Oh. 
Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Good morning, baby. Hi. Have you ever seen snow before? Camp. Do you like it? Yeah, you love it. Do you want to go in the water? Little sleepy boy. <laughs> <laughs> 